Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. In this video, we're going to be making the QRP Guys Mini No-Tune Infed Half-Wave Antenna. So let's get to it right after this. The QRP Guys Mini No-Tune Infed Half-Wave Antenna operates on 80 to 10 meters. It can be set up as an inverted V, horizontal sloper, can handle up to 10 watts, and per their website, it is designed to be used without a tuner and give an SWR of 1.2 for any portion of the band after optimizing the driven element. Their tests have been favorable for 2.0 SWR or better for the entire band except 80 meters, which can be optimized for the upper or lower portion of the band. The case size is 2 inches by 1.38 inches or 50.8 millimeters by 35 millimeters. You have to supply your own element and they recommend between 20 to 24 gauge depending on what you have available. In the directions they give you a list with the starting point for the length of the wire depending on which frequency you plan on operating on. Some of the tools you're going to need is a 532nd drill bit, 3 8 inch drill bit, needle nose pliers, and either a knife or sandpaper to scrape off the insulation from the magnet wire. And you're going to need a soldering iron. In the kit you get a T1 FT8243 toroid, 60 inches of 22 gauge magnet wire. Ceramic capacitor, it's either going to be marked with 151, 150K or 150P depending on the manufacturer. In my case it's 151. You get a female B and C connector and all its parts. You get two 3 quarter inch long 832 stainless steel Phillips pan head screws. You have four nuts to go with the screws, and you get four stainless steel lock washers. You get two number eight spade connectors, two th wing nuts, one case, and a sticker for the case. Okay, the first thing we're going to do with this wire is we're going to remove the insulation for the, from the first half inch of the wire. And then the next step, we're going to go from 3 and 3 quarter inch to 4 and 3 quarter inch and remove that part of the insulation as well. And now what you're going to do is you're going to fold the wire back on itself at four and a quarter inches. This will leave where you just shaved off, you'll have a half inch length. There we are. Now what you're going to do is you take your needle nose pliers, you're going to hold on to the loop end. And you're going to twist until you get to the top of the half inch that you scraped off earlier. Okay, now you're going to start winding the toroid. And what you want is about 5 eighths of an inch sticking out from the bottom of the toroid. And you're going to do three loops with the wound end that you just finished. And there you have your three turns. Now you're going to take your single end here. And you're going to white, wrap it around nine more times so that you have 12 total going this way to my left. Once you've got your 12 turns, you're going to do one more turn. And you're going to thread it through to the other side, and then we're going to go counterclockwise 11 turns. 
And this will give you a total of 24 turns. Now you have your 24 wraps. And now we're going to cut this tag off to where we have one inch, and then we're going to scrape a quarter inch of the enamel off. Okay, now that we've cut the excess wire off, we have one, about one inch left. We're going to cut or take off a quarter inch of the enamel. Okay, once you've got that last end cut down to about an inch and a quarter inch of the insulation taken off, you're going to tin the three ends. And now we're going to solder this number eight spade to the wire that we cut to an inch. You need to bend the B and C solder lug at a 45 degree angle. Okay, now we have to solder the B and C solder lug and the capacitor to the twisted pair. Now we're going to solder the last number eight spade into the end of the twisted pair. And now we have to drill the holes in the case. The first one we're going to do is for the counterpoise, and that needs to go five eighths of an inch in. And the size of this hole is going to be five thirty seconds. This one will also be eleven sixteenths in. Okay, now we're going to assemble this. You got one of the five eighths or five thirty second holes here. The other one's on this side, and then the B and C connector is going to go on this side. Run your screw down through your wing nut. And one of the nuts, lock washer. Once you get the screw all the way in, then you're gonna put your other lock washer on the bottom, start the nut, bring it till it's about flush with the end of the screw, put in your toroid. This is the hard part getting all this to fit. Okay, we got the one for the counterpoise in. Now we're going to do the antenna wire. Okay, now we got the antenna wire all hooked up for that lug. Now it's time to put in the BNC. Okay, we've got the BNC connector in. Now we just got to put this last remaining wire and the other side of the capacitor leg into the BNC connector in the center right here. Okay, we've got the lead wire and we've got the Capacitor hooked up to the center pin of the BNC. Now we're going to go ahead and solder that. Okay, now that we've got everything in, we're going to take the cover, the two self tapping screws, and the self adhesive label, and we're going to get it all put together, and that'll be the final part. And there you have it. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. While you're here, check out one of these other videos. Thanks again for watching.